Hi guys, it's Kim from Kim Brands Crochet. I have some yarn that I want to show you that I have dyed myself. And I'm pretty happy with it. Unicorn Twist, I called this one. It's pretty number one. The next one is actually my sister Shannon helped me with the name of this. Hawaiian Fruit Punch. I think it's a good name for it. Sorry about the nails, but I haven't had time. Gorgeous. This one is one of my favorite, actually. This one, oh, and this yarn here is the yarn I showed you. <clears throat> It's a bear super wash worsted. That's what these guys were. Next one though is Bear Super Wash Merino Twist. Let's see. This one I called Cherry Bliss. And here's what it looks like before I put it into a cake. See that? Isn't that pretty? It shows up yellow on the screen, but it's actually more green. But the other colors are actually strangely true to color. So that one I called Cherry Bliss. Then we got this one, which is called Wendy's Cotton Candy after my mother-in-law. She really liked this and she thought it was kind of cotton candy, so I named it that. This one, this one, I named myself. I thought it was like, if you remember the space sickle, I thought this was kind of reminiscent of the space sickle. The Dickie man used to bring it around. People in Canada, Ontario know what that is anyways. The ice cream man. And then this one. This was one of my first ones. First one I did. No, this one was named by a friend of mine, Sarah. Blue Mountain. She said it reminded her of the blue glass, I guess. Blue blown glass, blue mountain glass. I'm not really sure, but I trusted her. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Now, <clears throat> the next one. This one I'm really excited about. It is my first blue that I tried to do an ombre. Ombre, ombre, whatever. But yay! Isn't that pretty? This looks a little green, but it's actually just really light blue. Light blue. Isn't that beautiful? So proud. That was my first time too, so I'm <laughs> really happy. I wish I had more to do. I'm gonna order more from, this is from Knit Picks. I'm gonna order more. It's quite addicting. So those are my self dyed yarns. Now I have, I'm going to show you these circular needles I got from Wish. It's 
comes with 13 different sizes. These are the cords. And they're really flexible. Like super flexible. Way better than some of the cords I've bought that were plastic, that were really quite hard. Like these are really bendy. And it came with an extender thing that you could, uh, <clears throat> I don't know where it is right now, of course. But you could stick it on here and then you could stick another whole cord onto it to make it twice as big. So that was kind of cool. Kind of cool, I thought. Now I'm going to show you some whips. Actually, I finished one first. This is done with Shaw on the Ball. Isn't that pretty? It's actually bigger. It's a bag with a pattern. And it's just called Easy Shawl. Easy Crochet Shawl. With Shawl on the Ball. It was a really great easy pattern. And I love it. I made two. I love this. So what else have I got? Oh, these are the circular needles that I had got from Wish, and I'm actually using them to knit a shawl, or no, some kind of a shawl. I can't remember. I'll I'll look it up and put it in the description. But yeah, that's what that ombre yarn, the red heart. Teal, deep teal, and I'm starting my first knitted cardigan, and these are on my knitted, my circulars from Knit Picks. It's in black, so you're not going to be able to see it, but it's in two by two ribbing. So I'm kind of excited about that too. And I think, I think that is it. So thank you for watching again. And we will see you next time.